around 7,010,474,000 people living on the Earth. Each one of these people is unique, different. They all have their own ideas, personalities, and experiences. But none of them are as unique as Elphaba, the main character in Gregory Maguire's book, Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West. Elphaba is a person, just like all of us. She's just a little more different. From the second she was born, everyone knew Elfie wasn't quite normal. She was extremely strong, had sharp teeth, and her skin was a bright emerald green. She didn't act quite normal, either. Anytime so much as a drop of pure water touched her, it would burn like fire. Elphaba was born different, but does that mean that she was destined to live a unique life? Or, because she was treated differently as a child, did she grow up to be bitter and mean? Do each of us have a predetermined destination in life? Or do we decide our own fates, our own personalities, and our own futures? Are people born wicked? Is it nature or nurture that makes us who we are? Perhaps, thought Nanny, little green Elphaba chose her own sex and her own color, and to hell with her parents. On the other hand, Glinda was born very normal. She had all the opportunities as a child. She was loved, cared for, given the things she wanted. She reasoned that because she was beautiful, she was significant, though what she signified, and to whom, was not clear to her yet. So when Elphaba and Glinda become roommates at school, they realize they couldn't be more different. To Glinda, Elfie is overly fiery and passionate about equal rights, something Glinda doesn't understand. To Elfie, Glinda is shallow, too popular, excessively bubbly, and has too much fun, something Elfie never does. Despite this, the two girls gradually become friends, as they share a common love of life and a desire to change the world. Even though they look and act completely opposite, they are still the same. What made Elphaba and Glinda so different? Did their distinct upbringings make them who they were? Or were they born that way? I have come up with two different theories about what makes us who we are. Let's say that each person is born with a chart. On this chart, it has your name, your gender, your eye color, your hair color, your ethnicity, etc. This chart also contains your personality traits and your purpose in life. Either you're born with the chart completely filled out, or as you grow, the chart fills and changes with you. Throughout the book, Alfie struggles with her destiny and her purpose in life. At first she knows she's good, and she does good deeds, and she stands up for what she believes in. But as people start to turn against her, she starts to believe that because she was born different, she was born bad. She believed that she was born evil and wicked, and that no one loved her. She believed that it was her destiny to be a villain. Listen to me, sister, the elephant said. Remember this. Nothing is written in the stars. Not these stars, nor any others. No one controls your destiny. I think that we have the power to be whoever we want to be, and that we are not born complete, but rather, we make ourselves as we grow, and we never stop changing. We don't even have a predetermined destiny, but instead we decide our own destinies for ourselves. The themes in Wicked include destiny, perspective, discrimination, humanity, and individuality. I would recommend this book to anyone who likes retellings of fairy tales or traditional stories told from a different perspective. So, was the Wicked Witch of the West born Wicked? I don't think so, but she was born green.